We have a total of 38 acres, 20 some thousand trees, Leyland cypress, we have green giant, Arizona cypress, Virginia pine, eastern white pine, southwestern white pine, Austrian pine, hybrid loblolly pitch, Norway spruce, we have blue spruce, con color fir, there's a few of those. There's uh, some canane fir, grand fir from the northern Idaho, Montana area. I don't know how it, how it survived here, but there are a few. And uh, there's probably a few varieties that I just can't think of right now. I feel like a Forrest Gump movie where the guy's naming all the shrimp. <laughs> when they're cut, they're probably six years old. When you get a little bit slower varieties, you can go uh, seven, eight, 10, 12 years. I've got some 12 year old uh, Turkish fur and uh, I just want to sell them before I die. That's <laughs> We do uh, grow some of our trees from seed. Actually, some people don't know this, like your pine tree seeds, a lot of those take two to three years up on a tree before they're viable. So that seed's already two to three years old. To get it to grow right, they have to go through what they call stratification. That's where you get them wet, soak them, let them absorb a little moisture. Then you put them in the refrigerator for a, a month or two and they think it's winter and then you can plant them and then they're happy. They go, hey, we've gone through winter. They'll start growing. I do buy seedlings. Some are four, six, eight, 12 inches. The next step is to plant them. And you wanna make sure there's adequate moisture in the soil. Cause if you plant a tree and there's no moisture in the soil, it's probably not gonna do real good. It might not make it. Uh, once they're in the ground and they've, they've grown some, I start trimming even the first year. Cause if I don't, they won't set the buds right to keep growing. Every time you trim a tree, instead of being a natural shoot, you stop the growth and the tree says, I don't like that. I wanna make sure I have enough branches so it puts out more buds than it would naturally put out on each whorl. And that's how you get a real thick tree. Stuff likes to eat pine trees, bugs, moths. Moths will lay eggs and those little larvae will eat back into that tip. There's, there's a whole lot to take care of a tree and get it up to sell because you don't know how many, how many Christmas tree farmers, they just go, this is too much work. So I'll put in probably 70 to 80, hour, 80 hours every week. We have a gift shop. She's got a lot of goodies in there. She works hard to pick out stuff you can't get anywhere else. But we open up the weekend before Thanksgiving. We call that our early bird weekend. Last year we sold out, we were open seven days. 2,500 trees, 20. My wife would know the count, but I, I think it's not, it might even be 3,200. But it's seeing families come out, seeing kids go out and just having a blast picking out their tree. It's busy, it's kind of hectic, but it's nice to see everybody's having fun.